Welcome to today's security briefing. In this episode, we're examining CVE 2025-22272, a moderate but potentially impactful bug in the Go HTML tokenizer. Discovered in April 2025, this flaw can lead to incorrect parsing of certain tags in foreign content contexts like SVG and MathML, potentially resulting in misplaced DOM nodes and unexpected behavior in applications that rely on Go's HTML parsing library. The vulnerability resides in the Go standard library module golang.org net html versions earlier than 0.3810. Downstream, it affects any software that embeds this module for HTML parsing. Notable distribution shipping impacted code include SUSE Linux Micro 6.1, notably in Helm deployments, tracked as BSE Yush Puo to Huan and Zero 2, and Fedora 41, which bundles the Glow documentation viewer with the vulnerable HTML parser. CVE 2025-22872 is classified under CWE 79, improper neutralization of input during web page generation. It's not a buffer overflow or memory corruption, but rather an HTML tokenization logic error. By misidentifying tags with unquoted attribute values ending in a slash as self-closing, it alters the document object model structure in foreign content contexts. At the root of the issue is how the Go HTML tokenizer handles attributes that are unquoted and end with when passing tags inside OJ or other non-HTML namespaces, the tokenizer can mark those tags as self-closing even when they're not intended to be. If you're using the tokenizer API directly, you may emit a self-closed token incorrectly. If you rely on the higher level parse functions, subsequent elements or text nodes can be placed in the wrong scope, potentially leading to layout errors DOM injection flaws, or logic bypasses in applications that sanitize or transform HTML based on structural assumptions. To remediate CVE 2025-22872, upgrade golang.org x or net HTML to version 0.38, so or later. SUSE Linux Micro 6.1 users should apply the BSE Z011 41802 patch. Fedora 41 administrators can install the updated Glow 2.1.1 package. Although this isn't a zero-day exploit in the wild, it's important for all developers and operators using Go's HTML parser to update promptly and verify that their XML or foreign content workflows remain reliable and secure. Thanks for listening. Stay safe and keep your dependencies up to date.